bottles, absolute. We are in Brixton Jam, London. If you're in the building, make some noise! <laughs> This is the first battle of the day. On the right hand side, you've seen him on Premier Battles before. You used to represent Fenham all the way from Bristol. Make some noise for Gaspar! Yeah. If you think you've seen this battle, no, you haven't. And on my left hand side, coming all the way from Ireland, I want you lot to make a lot of noise for Scobo! Gas London, make some noise. Let's get ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Yo, Brixton Jam, we ready? They say London crowds are better than Manchester crowds. No, I can't say for sure that's mad. Sure! But I've never known a London crowd to be so shit, they let us redo a battle from scratch. <laughs> so with that being said, you attention-seeking, validation-craving, sad little virgin. <laughs> you are, I did a thing and everyone clapped as a person. <laughs> You've wanted this for 18 months, cause for you this battle's the peak. I've been happy with my bookings, I couldn't ask for more. But more keeps asking for me. Oh, you, yeah. Calling me out trying to siphon off the respect on my name since I was moving across the globe like a tectonic plate now he's trying to use my now he's trying to use my brand to get on a plane we'll expect long delays cuz after you called me out you fell off bro literally fell off the stage <laughs> <laughs> must, must have slipped on all the grease <laughs> we all know you struggle with your inner demons but a shower every other day is within reason. <laughs> if those pores had any more oil in them, America would try to bring them freedom. <laughs> there is too much ScoMo lore to write about. Let's list them, in fact. You let every opportunity slip through the cracks. Said you had two Academy wins in the bag until they went through your fingers like sand. Your terminally online liberal act. Baylor having you shit in your pants. Paid less than 100 euros for beats. Still hasn't finished a track. You, you literally cried when you weren't picked in the draft. Losing your rag at Frost on Twitter, you twat. You should, you should, do, as, you should do as Bobby told you and wind your neck in. We get it. You like attention. I'm glad these rounds are only 90 seconds. That's barely enough time to mention all the other ways I find your life depressing. <laughs> Even now it feels like there's something I'm forgetting. You thought Conor McGregor was shook to battle you? Rose <laughs> on Twitter like, let me add it. What are you, scabby do? <laughs> See, when you dared him to come to your gaff for a scrap, we all collectively lost our shit. But what were you going to do if Connor did? Debate him in politics, pelt him with oranges, tweet Krishna and Mayweather for boxing tips? Bro, I would love to see you throw a punch, because you have arms like McDonald's chips. <laughs> I only fell off the stage that one time because you breathed in my general direction. <laughs> and in case you forgot, my face has a spot for each case that I've caught. Since the last battle, I have clearly dropped in the records. Back when a hump with a portion mansion battled Conor McGregor. But I heard you're a furry, so this is one dog that will not go to heaven. I'll give your wee balls a snap till you squeal and a police dog to snitch. I'll tell the feds you're an XL bully and watch you flee from the pigs. We Irish, we Irish can smell fun in the air, but gas needs to kick the bag, cause role playing a dog ain't the only time you're sniffing crack, cause it's gas bump. Cause it's gas bump. Buff, scratches his head as he writes in a mad one till he inhales and snorts a fucking line of his dandruff. Gaspa! Gaspa! Not quite fat, but down the man's hairy. He's a cross between Matt Berry and Matt Sherry. <laughs> the bona fide cheek, spitting chap pop over grind beats when you never left your bedroom until COVID 19. Some of, his, <laughs> some of his boasts just expose this guy's weak. Like, I've achieved lots of things, so you're supposed to like me. All because you won the award for most improved hygiene. <laughs> Lad, you smear your face with crayons and call yourself murder buff. 
You're pushing 30, son. <laughs> Yo, I got that wrong. You're pushing 31. When you, when you really are a strange, unnerving chump, how can leaning in that image possibly earn you love? It's mud enough! Everyone be scared of me. I'm begging you, please. The real you went to school with an extendable piece. You know your horror persona is depressingly weak when it actually makes you look like less of a creep. And you, <laughs> and you battled crumpet in front of ten people in public, so coming dressed as a clown was completely redundant. Your alter egos run your head. They've launched their own democracy. You can't win a personality contest with quantity over quality. <laughs> Yo, let me flip a shitty slogan, because there's no chance of me losing today. Let me remind you of the rules of the game. I'm Team Venom. How are you going to climb the ladder when you move to a snake? If your face had a spot for each case that you caught, your skin would be as smooth as your brain. See, I was meant to judge the Irish Academy and the visual versus rap floor battle. But I had to leave early for a flight, and that ended up causing a massive hassle. Because when Viz raised that bell high, the Irish fans were rattled, threatening the Troubles Part 2, which is a tiny bit more than the staff can handle. <laughs> anyway, 12 hours later, the whole Premier Island brand's been cancelled. Basically, don't flop island only exists, because I'm shit at planning travel. <laughs> but that's why you're made for Irish battle rap, because now they exist in a bubble and you are a passing fad. Because no one there cared about your attempt to build the scene, your money match with tech, or your attempts to be a bridge between, until you battled where it mattered, in English leagues. Because at least here you were a meme, back home you got hated on more than you should. Now, I don't know what that's like, I've always been good. But... <laughs> <laughs> I said, at home, you, at least here you were a meme. Back home, you got hated on more than you should. I wouldn't know what that's like. I've always been good. But the Irish called you shit to your face. So God knows what they said behind your back. That's why you needed that title match to silence that. But you would have never been the Irish champ. At this point, it's safe to say you're not a contender. You've lost to SBE, Gwaim, Conor McGregor. <laughs> it would get dark against Darko. You die against Viz or get left in a grave that Jester dug. You try to get your foot back in the door at my expense, I'll turn your legs to stumps. Mm. Bending over backwards to impress a scene when nobody respects the cunt. I battled them twice to show support and open doors. Now I want them welded shut. <laughs> you think yelling makes your bars good? But if you actually listen, his pen is junk. You can't have volume without depth. That's why you don't measure up. <laughs> nonsense. A haymaker by accident, let's be honest. But once they think they hear that speck of promise, it distracts from the fact the rest is bollocks. It's too much. Calm down. Shut up and be quiet. There's too much calcium in your bars and not enough in your diet. <laughs> Look, let me be unambiguous. I think everyone from Ireland's bars are shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, say, say it again. Say it again. <laughs> let me be I think every everyone! <laughs> Shit. You're all as bad as each other, like a coward's view of the Gaza Strip. You only wanted that. Oh, 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 You're all as bad as each other, like a coward's view of the Gaza Strip. You only wanted that belt because you're a shameless narcissist. I'm surprised you haven't fucked your back from all the sticking out your ass to kiss. <laughs>
character references. He's got them in scores. There's no league or platform he doesn't perform. He edits interviews. He's even mopping the floor. He's got more tentacles across the scene than all of his porn. <laughs> Success is massive. He has a role as pedophile number seven in a leather jacket <laughs> in a production of In the Woods Lies My Special Cabin. My client's real world persona doesn't reflect his casting, so long as you don't get caught method acting. He got, he got confronted by Bobby Rex. He was legging it mad fast. Bobby said, You better get your dad on the phone, but his thumb slipped. And he got his nephew in Snapchat! Wait your honor! Wait your honor! Before the rest just gets decided, it's about time that I talked directly to my client. People say, people say all sorts of things in battles they never express in reality. But you're making this hard, so suck your extended family! Because you look like the kind of guy that asks, where's my hug? You couldn't get a hug if you asked a where's my hug guy, where's my hug? <laughs> and you've started drinking! So you won't get released by the judge now. Last time you poured one out was when Omegle got shut down. <laughs> your battle with Anderson has millions in TikTok and a great response. Yet you're on the iBattle forums bragging about that blatant loss, Anderson's ad revenue making dosh, and millions seeing you get called a racist nonce. You are a fucking idiot, and this case is lost. Arrest my case. <laughs>
I'll drape his coffin with a little napkin. <laughs> He's not middle class. He got his house on 11% tech. Do you only hear my skin cause your jealousy gets pecked? <laughs> Before Battle Rap, I was in politics, knocking every house in a tour, making all kinds of promises in the town I was born. But it wasn't until I started rapping that I sold out in the doors. For such a successful man, you do lots of yelling in rooms. Don't get it confused. I battle cause I'm expressing my truth. But when other people battle, it's cause they're smelly bastards with nothing better to do. <laughs> if I weren't here, you'd be in a Jim Bob Gnarly compliments match. Ironic, you looked like a skill shooter, yet always got put in blast and grabbed gimmick battles for props, yet never got in your bag. Oh. Fuck rap! Fuck rap! Come to Ultimate Rider if you don't fear karma, because you have no right, like Israel to clear Gaza, and your last. Because you have no right, like Israel to clear Gaza, and your left is more pitiful than Keir Starmer. Yeah. <laughs> you pulled out of our last battle to run a Shrek themed rave. Yes. <laughs> you pulled out of our last battle to run a Shrek themed raid. Gas text me late saying, my dog has just gone to prison. You tried to pull out of this battle to watch a puppet battle a goth magician. A puppet, a puppet versus magician? Ironic he's the disappearing act because only Gas could double book a battle and a mirror match. But I'll tell you this, right? Your loss record, it's 3,000 times as much as ours. You and Anderson Burris, we're 3,000 miles plus apart. You got that battle by being 3,000 miles up his arse. <laughs> if you battled Conor McGregor, you would have begged at every other bar. I told Conor he's a crack smoking, colonizer loving fucking narc, and he's a hero to millions. So why wouldn't I rip you the fuck apart? My mother's son a star. You beg him buy your way up the charts. You not calling out shoddy. This is the last time you try to jump the shark. Yeah.